time last night, I came to the realization that I didn't have to drive across the country to have adventures. If I want to travel across the country, then that's fine. I'm going to go for it. But there is something comforting about knowing that all of this natural beauty, the peace that I feel, the travel that I can achieve, and my simple hatchback can all be accomplished just by going in my own backyard. I'll miss you. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye guys. Welcome back. Um, so I'm about to head into the grocery store right now to buy part of what I'm going to use for dinner. This is something I've been wanting to eat for dinner for a while, but my family is too grossed out by it. Let's come down to kind of a mountain town here. And I actually used to live in this town twice. Like I lived here as an adult. And then I also lived here as a kid because we had like a mountain house here. So I'm really familiar with the area and I needed to come down to this area. I have a car camper. I don't want to pay for a hotel. I wanted to say that if you are new here, my name is Claire and this channel is about car camping and what i'm really interested in is like is being like self trying to be like self-sufficient and trying to see how long i can stay off grid in my car so while i do have a car i'm just sort of interested in the whole kind of dynamic of sustainability and trying to live in different alternative type life things. I'm interested in biking. I'm interested in van life. I'm interested in RVing. I'm interested in car camping, SUV camping. I'm interested in just tent camping. I'm just sort of like the whole gambit. I happen to have a car and that's why I do car camping. I think car camping is great, but there are a lot of encompassing themes that go into this and this is why I do this. There have been times in my life that I have been in between jobs and it's been very stressful and so I try and create sort of a perfect, well trying to make it as perfect as possible, kind of cabin on wheels as far as my car is concerned just to have just sort of like a plan B if something goes wrong. So yes so now we need to scurry up into the mountains because i want to get up there before it gets dark i ask your forgiveness in advance um, my car is still a little bit dirty from the desert i didn't quite have time to take it into the car wash
where I learned how to ski, guys. It's a bunny slope, diamond run, paradise. Geronimo. I'm just so surprised that the slopes are closed. I was expecting skiers, so I don't know um, if it's gonna help or um, hurt with my cause tonight. All right, guys, so without saying too much, I do wanna say that my little plan here is not going as planned at all. Without telling you guys too much about what my plan was, I will say that the cafeteria is closed and what I was going to um, lean on that infrastructure here for dinner is not going to work out. And basically I'm in a little bit of a conundrum right now with food in my car because I'm not cooking with open flame in the vehicle. And since we're doing stealth camping tonight, I can't get outside of the car power station everyone it is on my list it is high on my list and then i can do more electric cooking all right guys i have some good news um the campfire grill is open all right let's go get our food and i asked her about like making the adaptation like what grosses my family out and she um wasn't very compliant about it so we're just gonna have to um, we're gonna have to lean on that infrastructure and our own infrastructure to manifest what I've been wanting to eat for a long time. About like ten more minutes on the food. And so I'm just gonna sit here while I wait and see what some good options will be. I don't think it's gonna be that challenging, but I do wanna steer clear of heavily patrolled areas because I'll be a lot more likely to get the knock in those areas, like where the gate, like where I, came where I first came into the resort. There's like a big park there, which would be really nice to park there, but there's like so many police right there and patrolling people and security. So I don't want to go there. So I'm just, I might have to head up, like up higher on the mountain and try and find some place where I'm less conspicuous. We have our mystery dinner here. Alright, so one option we have would be to just stay at any of these like timeshares here. There's I think that we would be very conspicuous like parking on a street, like with houses, but I think any of these like timeshares could be a possibility. These are just gonna be like, they look like timeshare or just kind of like little condo looking things. I'm not really crazy about the parking because it's more you have to park like right next to the dwellings and I would be looking for something that would be further away. Alright guys, um, I'm going to go with this lot that you just saw me pull into and I'm going to go with it because I don't really want to be driving around this whole resort all night because the more I'm driving around, the more less um, stealth I'm going to be, the more I drive around and another thing I like about this spot is just the reality that I have a dog and as much as I love to be in the vehicle like when I get somewhere I love to be in the vehicle and not get out of the car once I get somewhere who's King Colt 
And while I love that idea, it's just not always reality when you have a dog because I do have to take my dog out before bed. So this is much more preferable because I can kind of slink out. Hey guys, I moved my car like all the way around again. I was cleaning my car the other day and I don't know what got into me, but I just lost it. And I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it this way. I honestly think I just did this for fun. You know when you like rearrange your room, especially when you're like a kid and you just do it just because you can. Honestly, I don't really know what it accomplished. Did you miss your duck? Did you miss Mr. Duck? Yeah, all kinds of fun things in the car camper. We're gonna eat your duck for dinner. All right guys, so like I was saying, this is a topic that we're not allowed to talk about at the dinner table at my house. So I saved it for this. What we have here is basically a cheeseburger, but I wanna do something different to it. Are you familiar with the recipe of having a peanut butter, a peanut butter and jelly cheeseburger? Have you heard of it? So I've been seeing a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of hype about this and some people that I fairly respect and trust, they seem to really like it. So I think I'm gonna put this on like half of the burger. Here's our regular burger and now we're gonna turn it into a viral peanut butter and jelly burger. I just love being an adult. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right on here. Okay, everyone, so here we go. This is the peanut butter and jelly cheeseburger. <laughs> Guys, I will be real. I did not like it. The thing about the jelly and the meat, I think the peanut butter was workable, but like that jam with the like hamburger fat kind of like, and then the lettuce, it just, it was just not my jam. No pun intended, um, but I can't do it. So I think I'm glad I did half. I don't mean to waste food, but at the same time, I really did want to try it and I don't want to just go through life not trying things and always wondering about it. I have a couple questions for you guys. Um, number one, not like it's obviously optional to answer these questions, but I would really love to have a discussion. Question number one, have you guys tried this burger and do you think that it looks good? I mean, I just, I can't, I can't, I can eat most things except for like weird, kind of like weird meats and I can't do blue cheese and I can't do any kind of like pate or like duck liver or anything weird like to me that's weird. I can't do that but I'm a pretty flexible eater but this it was like no way. And the other question I have for you all is those of you who have been watching me or if this is your first time tuning in to my channel do you think that this would be like workable like having a car to camp out of? I'd just be really kind of curious to know what you all would think about plugging in a car like this for a hotel for a couple days. Yes, that was a yummy topper on your dinner, wasn't it?
Kiki. Love you. I had a super peaceful night last night. Green and precious. Does it have mountains? No, it doesn't. But I'm confident that I will achieve what I am meant to achieve, even in my own backyard, wherever I end up. If you have to go to work every day and you only have a car, Don't count the adventures out. Not yet.